Glad to have you aboard, oh lovers of records. So I just cleaned a record there carefully, following the exact instructions that the brush came with. So we're done, right? There's no video to see. Actually, no, that didn't really work very well, and it never really does. So I want to share with you guys my four-step or maybe five-step system for dry cleaning. So first step is just look at the record. Place a record on the turntable, look at it with an LED light, and you will definitely see dust. Okay, step two, sweep it. Okay, so carefully sweep one side of the record, gently touching the record with both rows of bristles, and then do the other side, sweeping the dust into a line. So you use a record roller to remove the line of dust. You're going to want to resist the temptation to inhale or exhale onto the line. And step four, just get it all. That's, <laughs> it's pretty simple, right? So you want to rotate the record roughly one third of a rotation and repeat until no dust forms. And this should take one to two more rotations depending on your brush and your brushing skill. And that's it. You've removed most of the dust from your record without introducing tremendous static. This is really the best you can hope for with a quick brushing of a relatively clean record. Yeah, so there's one optional step where you can use your brush to remove some additional static that can build up. So turn your turntable on. So just give your brush a quick clean. So just lightly press both rows of the brush to the record and rotate one time before lifting to the rear row only. Then move the brush towards the spindle and just touch the brush to the spindle for a split second before you lift straight up. So I'll elaborate on why I like this system. So with this system, we're visually seeing the dust collected and removed instead of just kind of whisking it off into the air and giving it a chance to maybe settle near your record where it might get reintroduced via static. We're also not spinning the turntable and brushing the record nearly as much. So this really reduces static buildup. And um, you can also do this with any record brush and roller. You need to have both, obviously. You know, you're open to do really any anti-static at the end, any extra steps to remove static. You can switch over to a zero stat or a D stat three if you have one. Um, the brush technique doesn't hurt and may remove some static and just the last few grains of dust. Yes, yeah, so our records may be prone to static cling, but we do love them. So I hope this helps you to have a less dusty day and a more pleasant day. Thanks for stopping by. So Ringo seems to approve. He's looking on approvingly. And... Uh...